Howdy, hello guys and gals, welcome back to the Den of Tools. And today we're talking about folding work tables because you know what, sometimes you gotta get outside the shop. But you know what, even sometimes in the shop, you need a table like that. I'm currently using one right now over here, hold some parts and stuff while we work on the truck and whatnot. But let's talk about, we talked about it a few years ago, I think it was, I can't remember exactly when, it's been a while, but we talked about folding work tables and we talked specifically about this table and it was the best table you could buy because currently at the time, it was selling for $54, which is a phenomenal price. Unfortunately, it's not selling for that price anymore. The times have changed, things move on. Let's talk about who's the new king of the hill, okay? Now, for those of you who don't know, this was the Hart Folding Table. It's made by Keter. They're that Israeli company that is basically the lord of all injected molded plastics when it comes to anything having to do with your workshop or portable toolboxes, all that kind of stuff. Almost all of them are made by Keter. Anyway, uh, Hart had started using this. They decided that wasn't the way they were going to go. So they changed direction and they closed that one out. $54 was not the standard price. That was the closeout price. That price is gone. Those tables are gone. Now, if you still want to get the, the Keter table, you can find it a bunch of places. It's on Amazon right now for $119, $120, bucks, call it what it is. And, you know, this one's though a little bit different though than the other one. So you see this one here. This is the one I had two of them. I, I managed to break the leg off of one of them. My son tossed it out of the back of the truck. That happens sometimes. Anyway, you see it's nice straight leg, basic design. Uh, one of the things I always thought was it was a little bit low. Well, the Keter one here... It's got a three position adjustable leg, all four legs, of course, like that. And it's the same thing. Uh, they're great. They pop right open. You can put clamps on them all, a whole nine yards. I did a whole video on it. Let me show you real quick about that. Let me show you real quick here. Watch the shadow. This is in five times slow down, 20% speed. You see, you press those buttons and the legs just snap out. It's really that simple. But, you know, what about with a full-size table saw? I know a lot of you are saying, can it handle a full-size table saw? Well, here's the new Bauer 12-inch sliding miter saw. Anyway, they're fantastic, and this one's even better with the adjustable height gets up even higher. I've used all sorts of power tools on them. I, I have used it as a miter saw stand. It will do that. Uh, I'm, in fact, I'm going to be using mine here at the shop to uh, run the, a planer on outside because I'm not going to run that in the shop. I want to get all that dust and stuff outside. But that said, there's there are other deals. Now, Northern Tool has, again, back to the old version, and I should say this real quick, that this version, if you do, and I'll put links to everything down below, uh, down in the video description. For this, you know, you click see more right below the video, and that gives you all the other information stuff. There'll be links down there. They come with these clamps, which are decent clamps. I've got the heart clamps. I can't tell any difference from them. They all seem to be about the same. They've held up. They you know, travel, rain, weather, all sorts of stuff. They do just fine. The tables do just fine. Uh, the, I really enjoy the tables. If anything, I thought they could have used a few more pass-throughs for the uh, the clamps, those two slots there you see in the top there where you can put the clamp through, the clamp things down. I would have liked some parallel ones to that, or I should say perpendicular. Uh, anyway, and the, the, the clamp slots are nice, but they're limited and they only go halfway across the table, essentially. Anyway, that said, they're good tables, but here's what we're dealing with now. Right now, I think probably the top selling one out there might be the DeWalt. The DeWalt is a great basic table. I've taken, I've had a look at them. I've got to play around with them. I don't own one currently. Uh, and I was really close to buying one because, uh, so I have one heart table here at the shop in Montana and the other one I had at our RV that we keep down in Nevada. And of course I broke it and needed to replace it. And of course that wasn't on sale anymore. And I was looking at the DeWalt one, but another one caught my eye. Now this is the DeWalt. It's currently on Amazon. It's $99. It's a really simple, easy design. Let me cover it real quick. So it, 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 I don't know if it comes with the clamps. Uh, versatile clamps is a quick setup. Okay, just wanted to double check. And now it doesn't come with the clamps. It says it's clamp compatible for trigger clamps. And, and it is. Uh, again, it's a nice basic design. Instead of having, you know, like I said, having perpendicular ones, they, they do that kind of X factor, which basically gives you the same thing. Uh, lots of great, uh, you know, uh, the bulldog holes in it or, or uh, what are they called? The, uh, anyway, you know what I'm, I'm talking about. Uh, so the, a lot of great kind of stuff you can do on these things. Uh, it's not it's not super heavy. I will say this: the the handle thing is is interesting. You press the button, you pull the handle, and the legs flip out, which is a nice, quick, easy design. One of the things I really loved about 
The, the heart tables is you just pick them up, you press the two buttons, the legs flip out. Makes it really easy, fast to set up when you're doing a project and you're like, oh my gosh, I need to set this up. You wanna keep your workflow going and it does just that. I always thought the legs were a tad spindly on the DeWalt uh, and I have seen some of them crushed <laughs> at Home Depot, but that's a whole nother matter. Anyway, Tough Built came out with this. And you can clearly see by just by looking at it, this is obviously sharing some DNA. Might be made by the same company that makes it for DeWalt. I doubt if DeWalt's actually making these tables. That's not really their bailiwick, if you know what I mean. So looking at this, uh, you get the X factor, not quite as close, but you also get the uh, the the uh, parallel slots that go with it. You get a perpendicular slot at the end. It uses a very similar mechanism. You press the button, you pull it out. Now, if you've seen it in some of my videos, I haven't really featured the table, but you can see it in some of the videos where I've been using it. I knew, and it's held up great. I don't have any of the tough system uh, accessories. As you see there, it's got a little thing on the edge of the table in the corner where you can take one of the tough system bags and it just clips right on, which is a pretty nifty design feature. I don't think it's a, quite a hard selling point, uh, but it, it's, you know, I'm not going to say no to it. Um, I, I found the legs, I look at these, I think they're a little, maybe I'm just, maybe the tough built on the side has convinced me that this is a, a stronger table. It just feels more robust than the DeWalt table. It's $120. Would I pay $120? Would I pay $20 more for this over the DeWalt? Well, I, I did, honestly. There's there's no two ways about it. I it felt like it was a, a more ruggedly built uh construction. It's got more slots there for the clamps. And I really like the vertical clamping capabilities of it. It makes it incredibly useful. I do miss having the secondary table underneath, like you get with the Keter designed tables. But uh, honestly, it, it's it's good enough for the stuff that I do. Now, Pegasus makes a table. Uh, this is actually Pegasus Works makes the Pegasus table. And Works, of course, they're that company that makes all the kind of power tools that are, you know, you always see in, in the infomercial kind of stuff. And they've really gotten to the point where they're getting into that really traditional, usable, like you should consider them as a DIYer kind of thing. I really do. And the Pegasus work table, a lot of people you know, wrote in to tell me, hey, I've got this table, I absolutely love it. I've seen the table, I've used the table. I, I felt it was, I don't wanna say rickety, it just, it didn't feel as stable as the other tables to me. Uh, it does have the ability to be used as a sawhorse, you know, folds down, has that kind of sawhorse kind of kind of frame. It's got the same slots. I mean, I get it. it. I guess this is, you know, whether it's your cup of tea or not, I get that. $133 though, seems kind of pricey considering what I can get for that same money with the other tables. Now, I will say it's probably easier to carry. It seems a little, a little bit more lightweight. Maybe that's just me. Now, I can't talk about the Pegasus without talking about Craig because somebody would be like, why didn't you cover the Craig workstation, the foldable work folding workstation? And the reason is they don't make it anymore. Craig has discontinued this. They blew it out at like $150.00. It was a solid, beautifully made uh, workstation kind of setup. Uh, it, I love the little supports they have on the sides to make it even more robust. Metal construction, fantastic, fantastic solution. They don't make it anymore. They've discontinued it. So moving on. Now we get into something that's a little more sketchy. I've not used the following ones. I haven't even been hands-on with them. I took one look at them and I was like, no. That like this, this is the Husky, and I could be completely wrong about this, and if you've used the Husky or any of these following ones, put it down in the comments. Let me know what you think. This is a community here. 
And I love to get the feedback from all of you because there's only one of me. I can only do so much testing and everything else. Love getting feedback because that's what we do here. We get feedback from thousands, literally thousands of people. And I add that all into the mix when I'm giving you a review. I talk about what I liked about it. I talk about what other people liked about it, what they didn't like about it, that kind of stuff. And we like to mix it all to get in together to give you a kind of a, a informational soup, if you will. The uh, the Husky here, 1.8 foot by three foot table, good size work surface. The work surface seems, I've seen it in stores, all right? But I, I took, I'll be honest, and, and I'm probably just being biased here. I took one look at that, that tabletop and it looks like it's supposed to have a router lift in there. And that just gave me the heebie-jeebies with these little spindly legs. M maybe I'm just too attached to my fingers. I don't know. But for a hundred bucks, it just seems like, you know, I I would get the DeWalt. If I only had a hundred dollars, I'd get the DeWalt over this. I really would. Uh, I, I don't know if you get 20 bucks more, I would get the tough built. Uh, then we talk about the work pro now work pro. This is normally a $200 work table. It, you know, and it's going to share some of the, the features, of a lot of these next ones, which feels like it's trying to do, I don't want to say it's trying to do too much because it does a lot, but it's, it's a miter saw stand. It's a five in one miter saw stand. It's a dolly. Uh, I think it makes you breakfast. Uh, it's got, I mean, it's got a nice work table to it. Like if you flip it over, let's see if there's a picture of the work table. Uh, you can, I know the pictures are kind of small there. It's, it's got a, a decent work style surface on it. You can use it as a bench and all sorts of stuff. Uh, the, the miter saw stand, uh, just as a miter saw stand, it seems like a fairly robust miter saw stand. Uh, using it as a dolly and all this stuff. I don't know, $179. I know some of you have it um, and some of you really like it. It just seems, I for me, I would want something that was more lightweight, something I could just grab, throw in the truck, take out of the truck. This seems a little bit more cumbersome. Now, at $180, though, I mean, getting the miter saw and the portable, I don't know. Anyway, uh, then we got Pony. Now, Pony, of course, famous for their clamps. They've now got a po Pony portable folding work table here. This is essentially the same kind of concept as we see with the works table, with the Craig table that you know is no longer being made. It's $170, though. Um, now, you it, two in one is a sawhorse. It, it's, uh, yeah, I don't see this at that price, $170, even with the 5% off coupon. You get the nice two pony clamps with it. I guess that's nice, the Jorgensen easy hold clamps. Uh, it's, it, yeah, I don't know. I, it's, it's metal construction. Uh, it has nice, I like the bright orange, easy to see that kind of stuff. Uh, it's got the nice stops and whatnot that work with it. Um, anyway, the, uh, the, the it's one of these ones I just I don't know enough about. It. I did want to include it because it is a it's a it's a name brand. Uh, it, they've been making good clamps for years, and it's a tried and tested design in that it's a copy of the Craig and the works is a copy of the Craig, and they're all kind of doing that same kind of thing. But I don't know. Again, let me know what you think of it down in the comments. While you're down there, don't forget to chomp the old like button, smash the subscribe, and ring the bell on your way out. Now, another one we got is the Swedish. I don't know. Do you have to assemble it yourself with little hex keys? Uh, seven to one folding workbench. I, we've shown this one before. A couple different names that get sold under. Uh, apparently, you can get it in a couple different. Oh, there's the. A uh, different kind of style there. It, it's one of these ones where, uh, again, it feels like it's trying to do too much. It's got the protractor built into it. The Work Pro had that too. I don't you know if I need a protractor built into you know my table there. You know, I mean, I you know I used to be really into John Deere, but now I'm more of a a case and uh, you know uh, Massey Ferguson kind of guy because you know I am protractor. I had to do it. Uh, I know, hate me in the comments. Anyway, I, I seven in the seven in one. I don't need my workbench to do that much, I guess. Tool tray, ruler, sawhorse, universal wheels, itty bitty universal wheels, semi circular ruler, ruler, protractor, uh, towing holes, family friendly in the comments, if you would. Push handle, push pull handles, and a hook. It's got a hook. Well, yeah, you know, you had me at hook. $155, $156 dollars there. Uh, I mean, for all it does, but I, again, it's one of these things. Do I need my work table to also be a dollar? I guess I'm carrying a bunch of stuff. I could take my miter saw, put it on there, carry it, you know, push it over to the site. As long as it's perfectly smooth pavement, I think those little tiny wheels would have problems on that cobblestone, which is probably why that's Photoshopped in there. I hate that they do that. 
Um, it, it's a, you could stand on it. Maybe she could. I wouldn't go anywhere near the thing. Uh, good size bench and stuff. I don't know. It's it just seems a little bit, and I will say rickety on this one. Um, and, and again, I don't need it to do all those things. I want it to be a solid workbench kind of thing. Now, Vivor, oh my gosh, let's talk about Vivor. Vivor's come out with a couple options, okay? We got the Vivor 2-in-1, at least it's only 2-in-1, sawhorse and workbench. 1,000 pounds load capacity. Mm, but is it, because um, it, looking at this, now I've not had one of these in hand. I, they haven't sent me one or anything like that. And Lord knows they've sent me a bunch of other trash. Uh, I mean, quality products. The it, it looks to be an MDF table uh, that uh, has a, a laminate uh, on on top of it. Uh, I mean, I like the layout. I like the holes, all that kind of stuff. the The metal skirting on it seems uh, overly done. Uh, it looks like it would be super heavy. Uh, but look, you got hooks, you got clamping dogs, you got quick clamps that come with it at $104. It looks like it does a lot at $104, maybe around the shop kind of kind of usage. I don't know with the MDF tabletop how much I would be, how happy I would be about using this as far as being portable. It does have the nice metal or looks looks like aluminum uh, side rails or at least to protect the edge of that MDF. And I'm assuming that it's MDF at this point. Uh, let me see if it says anything down here. In fact, let's do a Quick search for MDF. Uh, M it's a flat MDF tabletop, sturdy steel legs, connects multiple ta connect multiple tables because that's definitely what I want to do with this. Um, it, as far as ratings, uh, it's it's got no ratings, no 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 ratings. Excellent. Uh, quick fold, easy to use, thousand pounds. I I cannot believe an MD MDF table is going to hold a thousand pounds, but Hey, you know, uh, yeah, you're welcome to try it. Let me know how it works out for you. Um, by the way, while we're here, I just saw this and it kind of got me excited. WorkPro has a 36 by 18 welding table. I know it's it's small, super lightweight. It's not a heavy duty welding table, but for a budget welding table, it looks pretty cool. Anyway, probably warp if you try to put a plasma cutter on it. But anyway, then last one is the Vivor 2-in-1 Sawhorse Workbench. This just looks like a hot mess waiting to happen. We have the same MDF laminate construction, except we've got no edge protection. Just, you leave one can of soda on there for condensation, that thing's going to swell up. Oh my gosh, it is... I cannot, for the life of me, believe that they've got unprotected MDF. You couldn't T-mold it. Maybe, maybe there is T-mold. Maybe the pictures are just bad. Maybe that is a T-molding that just happens to be the same color as the MDF. I mean, that is a nice T-molding around that. Protect those edges would really, really help. Uh, but at, at the end of the day, I mean, MDF is an excellent product and it has its uses. I don't know if mobile workbenches are really where it's going to get you the best bang for the buck because I can just assume that if not through humidity, uh, contamination, uh, knocking it around. At some point, moisture is going to get into it. And, and at that point, it, it's just done for. And this is $140, 10% off coupon on top of that. Again, my my takeaway right now is uh, of, of the three, let's talk about the top three I would recommend. If you like this design, and it's hard not to, the Keter adjustable uh, folding table here. I, as I said, I've got one. I will say I broke a leg off of one, and I know at least one other person who broke a leg off of one. I'm not at to the point where I'm like, hey, this is a, a you know systemic problem, and you need to watch out for it. But if you did have that problem, put it down in the comments, and if you know it gets to the point where we're like, hey, a lot of people have been saying legs have been breaking on these things. I mean, they've got great reviews. Uh, it's 856 reviews. I've seen tons and tons of reviews on all the different products from different sites. They always get great reviews, but maybe there's a problem with legs breaking and people just don't know it. Anyway, if there is, I will pin a comment or I'll pin or put my own comment and pin it down below if it comes back and we decide that there is. But that said, I don't see how you could go wrong with either the DeWalt or the Tough Belt. I like the Tough Belt. For me, I'd spend the extra 20 bucks. Maybe it's not worth it for you and you, you'd be just as happy with the DeWalt. Let me know what you think of the favorite with the best with the, if someone had to ask you for a recommendation for a folding workbench, folding work table kind of thing, what would you recommend? Put it down in the comments. So while you're down there, don't forget to smash the old like button. 
or say chomp the like button, smash the subscribe, ring the bell on the way out. Anyway, you all take care. God bless. And as always, shine on.